this Lions team, they're in a way better position than where they were 365 days ago. Just like, this team, like, they just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team that's probably going to be a dangerous team to beat this season in the Eagles. And keep in mind, the Eagles beat the living shit out of the Lions last year. And both teams got better in the offseason. The Eagles definitely got better and the Lions went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. One thing I definitely took away from this game is that this team can play with nearly anybody in this league on any given Sunday. Before we talk about what happened with the, the Sunday game, though, let's talk about everything else that transpired this week for Detroit sports. Well, the Tigers, they only played two series this week. They lost one to the LA Angels, but they won the series against the Royals despite dropping today's game against the Royals. But other than that, not much to see from the Tigers. Just less said about the Tigers, the better. I mean, this the Tigers' season was over a, like a month or so ago. They're still in the playoff race because the AL Central is a goddamn joke. Honestly, whoever wins that fucking AL Central wins it by default because every fucking team in the division sucks ass. Like, whoever makes it in is gonna get fucking bounced and go one and done in the playoffs. Like, the division's a goddamn track equivalent of a fucking tire fire. But yeah, that's the only reason the Tigers haven't been eliminated from chip playoff contention yet, is because the division's a goddamn joke. But yeah, the season ended a long time ago, but yeah, another than that, not much to see from the Tigers. Just tanks beyond the eye can see. The Tigers just have to be at least within the bottom six to have a chance at the first overall pick with that newfound MLB draft lottery turning tank into a crapshoot. I believe last I checked, the Tigers are like third or fourth worst in the league, so they're just in position to get that first overall pick maybe in the lottery. We'll have to see if the Tigers' luck is any good. Time will tell there. But anyway, not much to see from the Tigers, just tanks beyond the eye can see. So now we get the Lions game against the Eagles, the main event this week. NFL season officially back in. So overall, this Lions team, this team improved, this team has shown they improved a lot from last year. Like, this seems like what it, the, the way the team ended off last year picked up right where we left off. Like, they started this game off well in the first quarter. And then the second and third quarter, they... See, they started to fall off a bit, made got a bit sloppy, made so many mistakes. But overall in this game, like, the few, here are some takeaways we need to look at. Like, the first takeaway, of course, is that the offense, they got to get more creative with the play calling throughout the game because their play calling was kind of sus. Like, they have, like, Ben Johnson and the company need to get better, more creative with the play calling. You know, Swift needs to get the ball more because... Swift, he had a fucking absolute monster of a game. You know, yes, Jamal Williams got two rushing touchdowns, which were big momentum boosters, but Swift should have got the ball more in this situation instead of just splitting it 50-50 with Jamal. Like, this game proves that Jamal DeAndre Swift is now a top one of the top running backs in the league, without a doubt. Um, the defense, they got to be more disciplined, better against the run. Like, that defense... Like the deep main reason the Lions lost this game is just they could not stop the run game and Jalen Hurts. Like both like both teams ran the ball effectively well, but they just could not stop Jalen Hurts and get to him. Um the, also golf and receivers, they gotta be more in sync because that first half the golf and the receivers were not in sync. Because the receivers dropped so many goddamn balls, especially DJ Shark. Like, he dropped, like, what, four, maybe five catches in that first half? It's like, holy fuck. That's not a good debut. Especially when you're on a one-year prove-it deal. That's not good. That's not a good first impression. But, hey, in the end, though, the second half of the game, it looked like golf and the receivers, including Shark, all got it together. Especially Shark getting that touchdown late in the game to cut the gap down to 38-35. So there was some improvement in the second half there. But still, a few mistakes that can easily get cleaned up. Like, if they didn't make that so many mistakes in the first half, the Lions probably could have won this game. But, in the end, just too many too many small mistakes added up, and it cost the Lions in the end. Also, the Lions overall as a whole got to stop taking so many goddamn stupid penalties. Especially Tracy Walker. Now, to Tracy Walker, how unnecessary roughness say it, like, there was not much Tracy could have done because Tracy was already committed to diving on the play to go for Jalen Hurts. And as soon as 
Tracy Walker was was jumping at him. That's when Hertz decide to slot to go baseball slide and go down. And and like you can't stop in midair. You literally can't. There's like they're like you can't just dive and help us. So like, oop, can't stop. Like as soon as you're in the air, you're gonna hit him. Like not much Tracy could have done there to hit stop that hit. But after that, but after that though, with the whole bro little skirmish there, like that was pretty dumb on Tracy's part, which got Tracy Walker ejected from the game. And Tracy was having a pretty solid game for the most part. But just got ejected because he did some stupid shit. Like, let me just say this in terms of fighting. The refs will never get the instigator. It doesn't matter if the Eagles instigated that whole brawl. They'll never get the instigator. They always get the retaliator. And in the end, Walker retaliated. And that's who the refs are always going to get every single fucking time. All Walker had to do was just walk away. And let the Eagles take the 15-yard on Sportsman like unnecessary roughness penalty. And maybe maybe who the Eagle player that instigated that would have been the one that got disqualified. Instead of Walker. They always get the retaliator. Just gonna put that out there. Also throughout this game, the D-line, they need to finish a lot of their plays better and their pressures because they were able to get in the backfield and force Hurts to make some bad throws. But times when Hurts was gonna run the ball out. They just they they just could not sack hurt Jalen Hurts when it mattered, especially Aiden Hutchinson in that first quarter. Because in the first quarter, Aiden Hutchinson should have had at least two sacks in that first quarter. Like he had Jalen Hurts right where he wanted him, and just let him slip right out of his fingertips. Like what do we got? Had him on the shoulder and it just could not wrap him. Like without a doubt, Hutchinson had a really solid game. Had got some pressure there, just could not finish it. Let me be honest, though. If that was any key, uh, any other QB not named Jalen Hurts, Hutchinson would have got the sack on those two plays that he missed Hurts on. So, yeah, they just got to learn to get better and get better at tackling. 100% this team needs to get better at tackling. And Dan Campbell has to make some better decisions. Like, I have no problem with the fourth down because they made a good chunk of the fourth downs, but... Dan Campbell's got to manage the game better, especially in the third quarter when he went for that dumbass onside kick. At well, they were down by 10 points. When the defense has had issues stopping Jalen Hurts all goddamn game. Like, I have no problem if he wants to be aggressive, but you've got to be, be, be aggressive at the right times. Like, in that situation, just kick it deep and pin the Eagles deep in their own end field. Because with them not, them not being able to get the onside kick, the ball back on the onside kick, you gave the Eagles excellent field position at midfield. Like, that was a bad call on Campbell's part to go for that onside kick. That was way too soon for that. I love Dan Campbell, but that was a dumbass decision on his part. I mean, the one, one positive we know for sure is Swift was an absolute baller today. Also, Malcolm Rodriguez is a fucking beast. Like, he made some really good plays in this game, without a doubt. Like, he's the only linebacker that was actually been, has actually been worth a damn on the line so far. Since linebacker is one of the biggest weaknesses on this team, I hope the Lions address get a linebacker in the first hat round this year in the draft. That's what I hope for, for sure. But Rodriguez is even a beast. He even hip-tossed one of the Eagles' offensive linemen. I believe it was maybe Lane Johnson or one of them. But, yeah, he, he hip-tossed the linemen. Damn, like, I saw it, I was like, well, damn, Rodriguez is a fucking beast. But overall in this game, this team did play very well. Despite having five straight drives in a row in the first half, resulting in jack fucking shit. So yeah, overall though, but if, if anyone's getting mad, just know this. This is still a very young team that's in year two of a full rebuild. A very young team in year two of a full rebuild. That's still learning how to finish games. And they, well, the Lions, they made it exciting at the end when they were down 17 and got it down to three points. But in the end, they just can't, they just, the Eagles were just a better team at the end of the day. Like, no excuses. Philly was a better team. Straight up, the Eagles won straight up, no excuses. They were just a way better team. Lions probably could have won if they didn't make so many mistakes. But in the end, Philly, in the end, I'll just say this, the Lions did a lot better against the Eagles than last year. Because last year the Eagles fucking absolutely murdered Detroit last year. 
And this year, Detroit went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Like, in the end, in the end, this is, this is a young team with a lot of grit that will play toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in this league on any given Sunday. So, yeah, the Lions, they proved they could beat anybody on any given Sunday. They just need to have a few things go their way. But in the end, just, you know, too many mistakes. It just couldn't stop Hurts in the run game. Also, A.J. Brown, too. And also, yeah, and Aaron Glenn, I'm not sure what the hell the, the, the Lions were thinking on that 55-yard play by A.J. Brown having Will fucking Harris cover him. Like, where the fuck was... I believe Okuda was off the field because of rep management, but then after that 55-yard play, they threw Okuda back in, and he didn't, Okuda didn't come off the field after that. And Okuda had a really good game. Like, Okuda didn't even let um, De Devontae Smith get a single catch. See, so yeah, Okuda really lived, trying to live up to that there. See, so yeah, Okuda really making a better, had been a better first season opener than last year for sure. Just... What the fuck were the Lions thinking having Will Harris cover A.J. Brown? Where in their mind did they think that was going to end well? That was a dumbass call. But hey, you know, hats off to A.J. Brown, though. He had a really great game for the Eagles. So yeah, congrats to, all, to the Eagles on the win. Lions fall 38-35. But hey, there's a lot of things to be excited about with this team, you know. You know, the, I mean, playoff, I mean, the wild card is still a possibility if ever, if under the right circumstance and everything goes their way, because this team can at least win nine games, without a doubt. The Lions can be at least a nine-win team. And keep in mind, Detroit went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Philadelphia, and the Eagles are more than likely going to win the NFC East this year, because I sure as hell don't see the Cowboys doing it this year. I think it's the Eagles division, because almost everybody else in the East kind of got worse. And the Eagles were, like, one of the few teams that actually improved drastically. Like, the Eagles really got something going there for sure. So, keep it up, Philly. Like, in the end, you just gotta remember, it's one, this is only week one. There's still 17 games left to go, 16 games left in the season. It's not a sprint, this is not a sprint. The season is a marathon. And we just got getting started. So, yeah, a lot of positives to take in, but... A lot of things still that needs to be improved, and the Lions still got a ways to go in the rebuild to be to get into that next level. Can they get there? Yeah, and give it in due time, but they still got a lot to learn and a long way to go. But anyway, a lot of things to be happy about. It. Keep our heads up, and ho and hopefully next week we can get the Lions can get that first win of the season against the Washington Charmanders. Seriously, what kind of name is the fucking Commanders? They were better off staying as the fucking no names, to be honest. But yeah, anyway, on to Washington next week. But because the Lions, they can easily beat Washington. No doubt they can beat the Washington Command Char Charmanders. No doubt. But anyway, congrats to the Eagles on a well-deserved win. But hey, this was a really good game, especially at the end. This was a really good game, to be honest. Like, a lot of things to be positive about. But there's still a lot of things to improve on. But hey... Always room for improvement at the end of the day. But yeah, anyway, on to Washington next week. See y'all later. C-Rad out.